Minnesota Vikings tight end Vishanti Shanko, proud graduate of Morgan State, coming back home to uh, participate in a free football camp. How much does this mean to you? Well, how much does it mean to me? It's, it's, I feel like whenever um, you can give back, it's something you got to jump on. And um, me personally, like I remember being in the shoes of these kids. And it wasn't too long ago, uh, you know, when it comes to memory-wise, you know, I could really, really, like, remember that, you know. So um, I feel like it's my duty, you know, and in the position that I'm in to give back. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of the type of stuff I'm going to be doing. How's the offseason going with the Vikings? What are you doing to take that next step to get over the hump and get to the Super Bowl? Well, you know what? Me personally, man, um, you know, um, this year I want to get a little faster and stronger. You know, so that's what I'm going to do personally. I've been over there working out with the Vikings, you know, so, you know, getting that work in, that camaraderie in and things like that, you know, things of that nature. So, um, can't wait for the season to start, man. We're going to start off with the Saints. You guys know that. And um, hopefully we can start off where we finished off at, but not finish the way we finished, you know, if that makes sense. So, you're going to have your quarterback back? You expect to catch the same pass from uh, the same starter? Or you got a kid in Tavares Jackson that uh, can play. How's he looked? During OTAs and the like. I mean, me personally, I feel like me personally, I do feel like Favre will be back. Um, you know, he got the surgery, so it's like, why would you get the surgery if you're not gonna really come back? And um, you know, he made a couple statements that's kind of um, hinting off to him coming back. You know, he can still play at a high level. Next year, you know, we're just gonna be even more seasoned if he does come back. You know, um, as far as camaraderie and uh, being in sync on the field. Um, but Tavar Jackson, I mean, he's somebody that's really, really growing up, and you can see it. Um, in the OTAs and the mini camps, you know, you see the progression. Uh, you know, he's making great reads, you know, just making great decisions out there, making accurate throws. So, um, you know, he's really a good athlete. He's really a good athlete. So, um, you know, if Brett doesn't come back, I, I feel like we'll be, you know, we'll still be a, a, a sturdy team, you know, with Tavares. You got camaraderie on two fronts. You got the HBCU camaraderie between you and Jackson, who went to Alabama State, but then are you still in the moment, or have you thought about what you're going to tell your kids and maybe even your grandkids about catching passes from Brett Favre? I mean, think about this, man. I'm in, like, I'm in a situation right now that uh, I feel, number one, is a blessing. And um, it's a great experience to be able to play with a guy like that. Think about the type of history he's been through. You know, it's, 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 it's Brett Favre. You know, he's, he's accomplished a lot in the NFL, and he's well-respected. Um, people can say a Hall of Famer, a legend, you know, and um, – I got to catch the most touchdowns on the team with them, you know, which equals 12. 11 uh, during the season, one in uh, postseason. So, I mean, you know, when I see that ball coming, I mean, it's like, especially in the end zone, it's kind of like, you know, you got to make that play, you know. So, um, it's just a good experience, and uh, I'm, you know, I'm just blessed to be in this situation. Have you been to Lake Minnetonka? Yeah, yeah, I have. I have. That's a huge lake. Hadn't scared, it hadn't scared you off. I've been there once, so it kind of did. Okay. Kind of did, man. You know, you know, you know Minnesota is a nice, a nice state, a very, very nice really? state, especially during the summer. But the thing is, the winter time is brutal. Tough adjustment, was it? Colder, Look, colder than New York. When it gets negative 34 degrees, huh? Yeah. You know that speaks for itself. I don't even have to tell you how I felt with that. And I'm black man. You yeah, know? I was gonna say, brothers. Like, I'm, you know, I'm African now. <laughs> I'm African, man. So you know, man, that negative 34. I don't know if I could do that, <laughs> man. Thank. <laughs> Representing Vishanti Shanko, the Minnesota Vikings. Best of luck. Thanks for hanging out. Morgan State alum, man. You know, I represent Morgan State to the fullest, y'all. You know, MSU. I would definitely represent y'all till I die.